Excellent. And I think for our last question, Delegate Wu. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you, Senator, for coming to the delegation meeting. Uh, first, for any people who are celebrating Lunar New Year, I just want to say Happy Lunar New Year, the Year of Dragon, and bring the power and the peace to everyone. So I have one question about um, the school capital budget. I'm wondering whether like, from the Congress, you are able to create a dedicated federal school capital funding source. I know a lot of situations, uh, even from Harlow County last, last, last week, we got a school flooded. We have the closed school. And for Montgomery County, we have similar situation. I have a student intern who are compiling all the data for the capital need in the United States. We estimated there are probably around $50 billion we, we need to, for deferred maintenance and for new school construction. And at the same time, Sometimes I feel the Congress, when they approved funding for war, it comes so easily, like $1 billion, like a dollar. So I just wonder, is there any way, like from our Maryland congressional leadership, say we will create a dedicated school capital funding source and we can utilize and help the local jurisdiction? Well, sure, Delegate Wu, and thank you for uh, the, the question. Thank you for your efforts on this and uh, happy Lunar New Year to you. Good to be in the year of the, the dragon. And um, so this has been a long time priority of mine as well from my days in the state legislature where we all work to dramatically increase the state school construction fund um, and we're successful at expanding it. But I've always uh, believed that the federal government should also um, support uh, these efforts, which is why I am a, a co-sponsor along with uh, Senator Jack Reed uh, from Rhode Island of, of legislation to do exactly uh, that. Um, we attempted to include that uh, way back in uh, what was called the Build Back Better initiative. Um, the Build Back Better, Better initiative ultimately morphed into what became the Inflation Reduction Act, but a number of uh, priorities that some of us had uh, did not did not make it um, into that that final uh, bill, uh, but we're going to continue to 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 push on on that uh, issue because, as you say, um, you know every child not only should be in a, a classroom uh, with um, you know with 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 small class sizes, um, but also should be in a you know in a school building. Uh, that really um, meets the purpose of the 21st century uh, and make sure that every child knows that he or she or they are valued. So um, I, I appreciate your efforts. Let's stay in touch. It's, I, I will say it's been, a ch I just will say it's been a challenge um, e even among some Democrats, but uh, especially some of our our Republican colleagues have been unwilling to consider this as, as a part of our federal responsibility. Thank you very much. Thank you.